Welcome back to Mini Mayhem! I am Ostrich Vox, and with the Star vs. the Forces of Evil series finale, we're sure to get closure on a lot of plot points and elements in the series. But one that piques my interest is the prospect of Eclipse Butterfly dipping down and entering her Muberty Butterfly form. As Eclipse explained in Season 3's Total Eclipse of the Moon, she never learned how to do magic without a wand, and she never learned how to dip down, meaning Eclipse has never achieved her Muberty butterfly form. Now, Eclipsa did find a way to dip down briefly in the episode Tough Love in order to protect Meteor from Moon by restraining Moon. But that was a very brief moment that didn't last long thanks to Meteora blasting Moon. However, despite this being very short-lived, Eclipsa dipping down did seem to be very powerful, not only overwhelming Moon, but causing both of their dark veins to extend, Moon's reaching her face. Regardless, with this lack of a butterfly form, one of the things to elevate this finale would be a brief moment where we finally get to experience Muberty form Eclipsa in battle. Star may be on a mission to destroy magic, but that doesn't mean there won't be any interference from any other antagonist like Mina, or that other characters like Eclipsa or Moon won't have any role to play. Mina Loveberry is still out for Eclipsa and Globgore's head, likely Meteora too. Globgore is still in a critical state after taking damage from a Solarium Blade, and if he's not treated in time, he will explode. So just from a narrative standpoint of building up tension, I don't see him being healed before for encountering Mina one last time. If and when he does get healed, it'll probably be at the very last moment, where we're led to believe for just a second that, oh no, Globgore really isn't going to make it. It's a series finale, people. All bets are off. With Eclipse's family in danger, after working so hard to fight just to reclaim what's rightfully hers, this would be the perfect time for Eclipse to dip down. Unlike at the end of Ready Aim 5, where Globgore and Meteora are already inside the Monster Temple, when Eclipsa was down to her last amount of energy, if Mina was moments away from directly ending either of their lives, Eclipsa may certainly find the inner magic to dip down, entering her Muberty butterfly form for the first and only time in the series. It's been established that Eclipsa is one of the most powerful queens in history, with very powerful, dangerous spells, like the Total Annihilation spell. So imagine what that power could do, amplify at its full potential. Could you imagine Black Velvet Inferno or Midnight Street, Hypno Slumber, if she can still use that considering it was destroyed, Self Estream, Nightmare Dream, or any other of Eclipse's spells strengthened by her butterfly form? It would be a sight to behold for sure, but it would also cement that yes, Eclipsa is not to be reckoned with. She truly is one of the most powerful queens to ever rule Muni. Of course, if she decides she still wants to be queen by the end of this finale, while the the throne is rightfully hers? I think after everything said and done, Eclipse may feel like Star. You're really the one who brought humans and monsters together. You're the one who destroyed magic and put everyone on an equal playing field. Eclipse and Glavgore may decide, hey, let's not leave Muni, but let's not rule it either. Muni already has a ruler, and it is Star. Or maybe Moon, after making amends with her daughter and Eclipsa, may actually reclaim Muni once more. But this time, truly focused focusing on equality, tending to both the needs of humans and monsters. Maybe with Eclipsa and Globgore as advisors. With magic on the verge of being destroyed, which seems like it'll be a successful attempt, judging by Star's lack of cheek marks at one point in the trailer, this finale really is the only chance in the world of Star to see this form. So I really hope the show's team is able to deliver, or else it'll just be up to our imagination for the rest of our lives. And if that's the case, I'll just have to make a video on what Eclipsa's Mubity form could look like. Like, what would her abilities be? Just how powerful could she become? And while we're talking about potential future videos after Star, don't worry, after the show is over, there's still plenty of content to talk about. I'll make sure the series won't necessarily end with Cleaved. What do you think Eclipse's Muberty butterfly form could look like? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or you can tweet your thoughts at RontableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Vox. Hey, if you like to draw, draw the form. Tweet it to us, tag us on posts and Instagram. We could even feature our favorite submissions in a future video video. 
Special thanks to Art with Coda for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of his wonderful art, you can find him on Tumblr and Instagram at Art with Coda, and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Link down below in the description. Help learn to grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sort of like and subscribe to the roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Oshik Vots signing out. Hey everyone, just letting you know of a pre recorded message that we will be at MomoCon. 2019. We'll be there all four days, but I know what you're thinking. What about the panels? And to that, my friend, I have an answer. Friday at 2.30, we'll be on the Channel Frederator panel, talking about our experiences as content creators. Then on Saturday at 4 p.m., we have the first ever animation showcase with a bunch of other content creators in the cartoon community. Cosmodor, Rubble Taxi, Nintendo, Saber Spark, you name it. We'll be showing off a bunch of animated projects such as Has Been Hotel, whose creator will also be there, Log on Gulch, Amoda and Nepson, and more. And yes, we will be showing exclusive footage you cannot see anywhere else. Well, I mean, until the actual panel, where I'm sure it'll be live streamed and you can, but you guys get the point. After that, our final panel will be Saturday at 7. Another Steven Universe of the Fan of this panel. Us, Mackenzie Atwood, Slice of Otaku, Rose's Universe, and Michaela Dees, the voice of Amethyst. Oh yeah, did I mention this TV Universe cast will be there, Zach Callison, DD Magna Hall, Michaela Dietz, and Estelle. Well, Estelle's only gonna be on Thursday, but Estelle. Get hyped for MomoCon, guys. It's so close, and I have a feeling it'll be one of the best years yet. Hope to see some of your beautiful faces there.